Let's move on to blue face. Like, I don't know if this dude is trying to make his girl have a black and blue face, but I don't, I don't condone men fighting women, but I know for a fact there are some toxic ass, aggressive ass, violent ass, will punch you in the face first as like to fight men as women. That is a fact. There are so many women out here that think they niggas or men and are uh, will get up in your face and talk to you like they a man and deal with you like a man and they have no fear and they want to they want to fight. They will hit you first. But you fellas got to know if you got a woman that likes to fight. It don't matter how you look at it. When the police show up, fellas, you are going to be in the wrong. I don't care if she hit you first and you was defending yourself. Nigga, you are going to lose that battle. Now, recently, this brother, Blueface, got into an altercation with his woman on the street. No, let me put it on the computer. Let me put it on the computer. So y'all can really get a good look at this. And then... I'm using this under the copyright disclaimer under the section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringed. Nonprofit education or personal use tips and the balance of favor of fair use. And I'm using this footage and all the footage in this show today is under the fair use for the purpose of criticism, comment, and news reporting, all right? Damn, yo. Damn, damn. Yo, you guys just dropped the phone? You just dropped the phone? Yo, you just dropped the phone? Yo, why are you hitting that man? Yo, he's not doing nothing to you. Why are you hitting that man? Damn, yo. Damn, damn. Yo, you guys just dropped the phone? You just dropped the phone? Yo, you just dropped the phone? Yo, why are you hitting that man? Yo, he's not doing nothing to you. Why are you hitting that man?
Gelmiyor. Fellas, right there, right there. As soon as she clipped you, bye. You supposed to go, oh, and just move away and walk away from her and go. That's it, shorty. It's over. I'm not rocking with you no more. You're not going to be putting your hands on me. You're not going to be risking me throwing my whole career away. You got that, shorty. I'm never talking to you again. I'm not the rest of these niggas. I don't understand these niggas because I'm going to want to slap fire out of you to let you know, don't ever put your hands on me. But before I do that, I'm skating because especially with this right here, you know what I'm saying? With people filming and phones right now, who you think like the, the court is always going to blame him. And Damn, yo. Damn, damn. Yo, you guys just dropped the phone. You just dropped the phone. Yo, you just dropped the phone. Yo, why are you hitting that man? Yo, look how blue face pushed the dude at the end in, in front of him. Like, yo, get her. Like, nigga, don't push push me in front of the your chick. Cause if she would have swung on that nigga and clipped him back, then you and her would have been jumping him. <laughs> Dude. Damn, yo. Damn, damn. Yo, you guys just dropped the phone. You just dropped the phone. Yo, you just dropped the phone. Yo, why are you hitting that man? Yo, he's not doing nothing to you. Why are you hitting that man? Mothers? That's watching the show right now with sons. Teach your son to walk the hell away from a toxic relationship like this. I done seen this nigga Blueface go through so much stuff with this girl. She's going to be the death of him. You watch and see. She going to even send his ass to jail or to a coffin. If he don't get the F away. My mother wouldn't let me keep dating this girl. My mother would have gave me an ultimatum, like, nigga, you going to leave that girl alone or you not, I'm not your mother no more because she's going to send you to jail. My mother will be tripping right now if she saw that content and I'm fighting some girl like that. Trust me, I've been in love with some aggressive, violent women. Women that like to fight. And when you young, you just look at it as love. But when you get older and you realize all of the shit that they did, all of the shit they threw at you or hit you or pulled a weapon, a knife or something on you or whatever, and you defending yourself, and you you didn't go to jail for it. And then when you get older and you look back at this type of shit, you're like, oh, that was me. Man, it, that girl was crazy. This, that, and other. Mothers, if you have sons, please listen to me. 
please listen to me. Show them that video and tell them this better not never be you because you will not win in the court of law. You will be buried. Please, mothers. I don't know. I'm sure Blueface mother taught him better. But the way she just hooked up on him and he was fighting her back. Not me. Not me. She would have poop, poop, poop. I'm like, oh. I just started trotting away. You got it. <laughs> you got it. I don't give a fuck. I'm not putting my hands on you. Now, some situations may cause for a smackdown. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might really have to smack the shit out of somebody when they getting too aggressive and too violent. You know what I'm saying? But you got to know that you're putting yourself in a possibility of having a court case. Me, I don't, I'm not with that shit. Like, if you give me the first impression that you think you could put your fucking hands on me, or you can think that you could talk to me crazy that will provoke, trying to provoke me to put my hands on you. You'll never hear from me again. Bye. I know that trick. I know that trick. He had her beat up his mama too. Then she put hands on blue face moms. Yeah, this is the girl that fought his mother, right? I think she fought his mother and his sister or somebody. I do remember that. It was the mother and the sister, right? Let me see if I can find that real quick. I don't feel sorry for this nigga. He let a girl fight his mother. I, I don't respect that shit. I don't think they got the incident. I think they talked about it. I don't remember seeing no footage of it, but I do remember them talking about it. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, they I don't there is no footage, but I remember Blueface and his girl talking about it and stuff. But yo, my nigga, I'm not, I'm not. Your mother is always gonna be there. These girls are not gonna always be there. They not. You don't turn on your mother for no you only get one mother. You can have as many girlfriends as you want. But you never disrespect the woman that gave you life. That shit is what? Yo. That, that, that's, that's crazy, man. But trust me when I tell y'all, I'm going to predict this. If he do not end this relationship with this girl, it's going to end bad for him or her, either one of them. If these two toxic ass people don't get away from each other, I'm telling you, I'm sure Shorty Panani is awesome. Because a nigga stay with a girl like that, 
she got to be blowing his goddamn mind. Because he turned right around and gave her a chain after they, they, they had to fight. Show y'all. Let me see if now I see a story that says. <laughs> Blueface offers this girl, Krishan Rock, 100K to end the relationship. Dude, nigga, what? You're not even married. Like, you got to pay her to end it? What dirt she got on you, nigga? She's fine. What's up, Kyle? What you need? To leave me the fuck alone. Fuck it, a hundred thousand. Viral now, Kyle, come on. What? Because you're not saying nothing. That's the only way I can get you to talk. Actually, she's fine. What's up, Kyle? What you need? To leave me the fuck alone. Fuck it, a hundred thousand. So that's after the fight. And like you said, as y'all can see, she's okay. But she's back in his bed after the fight. She's smiling. Everything's normal again until the next goddamn fight. Say he would have just caught her. Bah! And just hit her with a, one of those joints. And she would have just fell and hit her head on some and fucked around and died. That, that's like an accident. That shit can happen. But now y'all back in the bed. Y'all went and made love and this, that, and the other. So he going to put her on video to show y'all, yo, look, she not bruised up. She's fine. She back in the bed. We all right. So this way, the police ain't going to press no charges on him. You know what I'm saying? They not going to press charges. They going to look at that and say, oh, man, the girl's back in this bed. There's a domestic uh, dis dispute. Neither one of them want to press charges. It's okay. Kids fight every day. Until somebody ends up hurt really fucking bad or worse. Everybody watching know this is a toxic ass relationship. When it is bad, everybody, like, oh man, Blueface should have left her alone. Yo, we told Kishon to get away from that nigga. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't heard whack say, uh, talk about the girl, how he don't like her, like she's toxic. Or whatever, but he can't control a uh, blue face penis or where he stick it. He can only give him advice. Yo, dude, this girl is going to be the downfall of you. Blue face don't believe it yet because he's young. He's young. Yo, you want a hundred thousand to end it? That sounds stupid. Get your shit and get the f out. That's it. I'm not giving you no money to get out my house. And you are here beating me up in the street, risking my career. If you're risking my career and my career is giving you a lifestyle that you love, why would you risk hitting me in public and doing all this shit for the wrong person to see me and see it 
and it get taken out of proportion, and I could go to jail because he lost uh, one of his events that he was doing. He had a boxing joint that he had set up. They 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 cut him off because he's out here fighting a girl. You'll have all these women uh, movements that will shut him down. I don't know, man. I don't know. They said she from Baltimore. She from Baltimore. She about that life. Baltimore don't play. Them girls is, they gangsters. You saw the wire. You know Snoop. <laughs> you said her career is bigger than his. You sound crazy. No way in hell her career is bigger than his right now. Everybody watching here don't even know her name. <laughs> 